Hello and welcome. This is Mouse Gunner, and we're going to have another playthrough of War Thunder. This time I'm playing as the BF-110C4, which I did promise in a previous video to play as. It's one of my favorite planes. Uh, it's a great low-tier plane, one with a lot of speed. But it is a plane that you have to kind of have a little bit of uh, flying know-how to, to do successfully. <coughs> you can't you can't turn fight with this thing. Uh, well, you, not it's not it's strong suit. Let's put it that way. You want to get altitude. You want to you want to use speed uh, to your advantage, and you also want to use the massive firepower that this thing has. We look at the belts real quick. That's the belts that I use, and yeah, it's it's got really decent. I mean, well, decent. It's got really fantastic firepower at this at this tier. And it's one of the faster planes at this uh, at tier one. And until they did add the uh, MC202, this was one of the fastest planes in this tier, if I remember correctly. It was. I don't really remember what the top speed is, but it's uh, it's pretty good. Okay, it looks like we've got. I didn't bother taking bombs. I'm mostly just going to be a heavy fighter in this one. <laughs> Looks like we've got a few BF 110s, um, some Italian planes, mixture of Italian planes mostly, a BF 109, <coughs> and an HE 112. It's kind of, if we look at the thing, uh, okay, the HE 112 is in A0, which, uh, if I remember correctly, that's the one with the, <coughs> the 20 millimeter cannon out of the nose. That's kind of a tough plane to fly as. It takes a little bit of skill. And the BF-109 is an F-1, which is a pretty good plane for a tier, tier 1 match. An upper tier 1 match. I'm going to assume by the chat that we're on a European server, which wouldn't really surprise me. Okay, let's start to build up speed. I'm trying to get up there in altitude as well. So that I can use that to my advantage. <coughs> Guys, if you are new to uh, realistic battles, altitude is a massive advantage. If you fly down low, um, somebody that's above you has a pretty significant advantage. Even if they have disadvantages as far as their plane is concerned. Because they can out... <coughs> they can outspeed you by turning that altitude into speed. And they can usually attack you and there's not a whole lot you can do about it. So as we see there, I'm just, you know, zipping right by this MC-200. Now granted, I was using web. And he should have a higher climb rate than me. At least I, I seem to remember that being the case. Now, I apologize if you hear a lot of coughing on my end. Um, I, uh, <coughs> I'm pretty sick at the time of this recording. But, you know, I want to get some footage out, so... No worries as far as that's concerned. Alright, we're starting to overheat our engines, so let's back off. Let's right, see where we are on the map. This looks like a pretty big map. Still pretty new to realistic battles, so I don't have a good memory for a lot of the maps yet. Not sure if I played this one or not, although the name does sound familiar to me. We're almost above the clouds. <coughs> Another thing you need to learn if you're newer to realistic battles is patience. It, uh, it pays to be patient and l set things up <coughs> and not just go for the first opportunity. If you spend most of the uh, beginning of the match climbing up to, you know, 15,000 feet, 
and the first enemy you see dives down hard, if you dive down hard after him, you're just essentially pissing away all of that time you spent climbing. Alright, so Yazbek sees somebody. Not sure where Yazbek is. <coughs> Oh, there he is. Okay. That's a lag three, so we're, <coughs> we're fighting Russians. And I see some tracers. Fortunately, I'm, <coughs> I'm quite a ways away from that combat. And... Guessing from where he is, he's, he's below me. Doesn't seem like anybody on my team is paying attention to the fact that he's calling out where the enemy is. That sometimes frustrates me um, when that happens, that uh, people are calling out where the enemy is and uh, friendlies just ignore it. I mean, I know it doesn't give you an exact location, but alright, that's the guy calling it out, so he's probably nearby wherever the enemy is. I have a feeling that that guy is not long for the world, though. Unless it's just a one-on-one -on -one combat. I, uh, Russian planes are bastards, though, and <coughs> if you, uh, have played against Russians a lot, you, you'll know that <coughs> their planes are just, they're tough to deal with sometimes. A lot of them tend to be indestructible, their guns are just ridiculously overpowered, but in realistic battles, you get some semblance of balancing that you don't get in uh, that you don't get in uh, arcade battles, and that their engines overheat, you know, very easily. Um, and the few times I've played in realistic battles with Russian planes, which I usually don't play with Russian planes because I just don't like the idea of playing with something that I know. Okay, so an MC-202 just got set fire, um, which is right there. Okay, so we see an LA-5. Looks like we're above everybody. I don't see anybody up here. It looks like we're going to have to go below the clouds to deal with that. Okay, Yazbek finally got shot down by that lag-3. Okay. <clears throat> I'm trying to think here what I would like to do. I've got a good clip of speed. I'm going to do a split Fs. Dive down. Kind of have my eyes on this LA-5. I don't want to rip my wings off though, so I don't want to dive too aggressive here. Alright, now that we're down below the clouds, let's look around and see what we've got going. So I see three planes. Let's cut off and go back down. Okay. We've got a lag three, a lag three, and a LA-5. It looks like, ooh. Ah, I didn't line that up right. It's close, but no cigar. But patience is a virtue. I'm gonna just be patient. I'm gonna climb out, use my speed get a better position. That is a lot of enemies. Okay. I think we've got enough separation that we can turn here. Alright, I want that LA-5. I don't think he's paying attention to me. And he's off kind of by himself. I think he's coming to try and aid uh, Isergius. Hopefully my ally sees him coming. I don't think he does. <coughs> it would take me too long to type it, though. The BF-109 might get there in time, though. Keep my eye on whatever these guys are doing. Okay. Alright, I think he sees us coming now. Let's line this up. Alright, we're only going to get one shot at this. And we missed. I have that up. That's alright. 
Just be patient. You know what? I'm gonna just come back down on this guy. You're mine. You're gonna be patient here. He's not looking for me. Okay, now he is. Ah, I didn't get it up in time. All right, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play his game. We'll go after lag three instead. That was a bad shot placement. This guy, he's just flying straight. He doesn't probably even see me coming. We're gonna get danger close to him. And then just yeah, let him have it. Uh, we'll say point three, and then we'll give him some bursts. Oh, you're still not... I couldn't really see what I was doing there. And that was a little overkill. But I just... <laughs> I just <laughs> let firepower take over there. Okay, we have this guy coming. I don't know if he's going for a head-on pass. If he wants a head-on pass, I'll give it to him. Oh, he's going for a head-on pass for him. Ah, I missed. And he got my wing. All right, well, we got a lag three coming, so let's ignore that. I'm probably going to have to go back to base with my wing shot up as it is. Got a little bit of a hit on that guy. Unfortunately, my plane's almost uncontrollable. <coughs> Alright, let's see where we are. Alright, that's, that's a long way off of... Base. Base. Okay. Let's see what the situation on my team is. So we've got... Kind of hard to see because <laughs> I'm pretty much constantly having to. Oop, that's not what I want to do. Pretty much having to constantly correct for the wing that's damaged. I didn't necessarily do very well there. Okay, we've got somebody ahead of me. Or is that ground targets? That's ground targets. Well, hey, we'll take a ground target. I'm not going to get overly fancy. Alright, come on, Wing. I need to put more pressure on the enemy. They're winning. <coughs> yeah, that kind of sucked. That guy got my wing. Alright, I heard it looked like one of my allies got shot down. So there's only two planes on my team and not a whole lot else. Yeah, this is just not a good match for... My allies just all got butchered. A light pillbox, heavy tank, none of that stuff I can knock out, so there's no point in doing it. <sighs> I kind of I feel bad because I should have had that LA-5. It's been a while since I've flown with this plane. And then my last ally just got shot down. So, it's pretty much me. <coughs> and I don't know if I can really be all that proud of the, the one kill that I got. Because it was pretty much just tail the guy, straight on shot. Take him out. More than likely what might happen here is... If somebody comes and camps my airstrip here, if I try and land, I'll get killed. But I don't think that's what happened. I think all the enemy, they went back to their own base to rearm. If I hadn't had my wing knocked out, I would have stayed in the fight. 
But that shows you right there the essentially how overpowered the Russian planes are. Is he just essentially clipped me with probably one or two rounds in my wing and just completely blacked it out. I think he hit me with maybe two or three rounds. One hit my fuselage and made that, you know, uh, turn a little bit red. And then the other couple hit my wing and almost took my wing completely off. So they've got one, two, three, four, five guys still in the air, two of which have two kills apiece, so they'll be a little bit experienced. Now my wing's flashing, I'm not really sure what that means, if it's about to give out on me. Alright, yeah, see there's a guy right there, that's in an SU-2, <coughs> he might not be chasing me, because he's going after AAA. It'll be a little bit hard to land. I'll have to keep an eye on that dot, though. Because <coughs> that guy, <coughs> he might uh, strafe me on the runway. Well, this will be one of the first matches that you see me do a landing, whether or not it's successful. I don't even know if I have landing gear, honestly. I don't see that dot anymore, so I'm assuming he went back. Yeah, but this, this is the thing. Even if you do well in a match, when your team gets just butchered like this, it's not all that easy to, to win it, win. But hey, you know, <laughs> I've seen it happen. Um, there have been matches like this for me where I was the last one alive, and I pulled it out because uh, people couldn't figure out how to land on a landing strip. Okay, so I'm pretty much to my base. It's time to kill some speed. I don't think this, <coughs> this landing strip's all that big. So we'll see if I can do it. All right. Still a distance away, so I'm not going to kill all my speed just yet. All right, plane. Straighten out here. I'm hoping my flaps will help a little bit. I may land way early. Yeah, let's put our landing gear out. And the flaps. Alright, let's start dipping. Alright, <coughs> come on plane, stay level. There you go, and that you I mean, that just proves right there. Even with the shot out wing, you can land, guys. So you guys that are uh, trying to land with perfectly fine planes and you die, shame on you. Well, unfortunately, that was kind of an anticlimactic match, but I came out of it alive, which is more to say than a lot of my allies did. I got an air kill. It was an easy one though, so I don't know if it really counts. And that's pretty much it. Uh, so, a so-so match. In any case, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.